So I'm about to take the bike for its first test ride. But then I noticed that there is absolutely no brake, so some air got into it. So one of our subscribers actually um, had discussed about reverse bleeding. So for reverse bleeding what you need is you need a tube like this and a syringe. I have a 60 mil syringe which I'm explicitly going to use for this. And then you also need brake fluid so I have a can of brake fluid. So what we need to do is we need to open the bleed valve and through the syringe we are going to push the brake fluid. So for that I need both the hands. So let me put you guys on a tripod. So first thing you need to do is you need to draw some brake fluid into the syringe. So that should be sufficient. Make sure there is no air. I highly recommend you to use a wire tie at the end because there is a good chance that the tube might come loose when you are gushing fluid in. So another top tip is to use a nose plier to tighten it. So just put at the edge and twist it. So it's reasonably tight. Okay. So next thing is wedge the spanner in. Then connect the tube. So when you tap like this, the air bubble slowly goes inside the syringe. As you can see now the line is pretty clear. So all you need to do is just loosen this, open the cap up top. Oops. Like the handle should be level first, so that is reasonably level. and the cap is open. Now what you need to do is just push the fluid through here. So yeah. There is reasonable fluid pressure up there. So I'm going to close the bleed, bleed valve. There is some excess fluid here which I'm going to drain out because this is quite corrosive if it leaks. So as you guys can see now the reservoir is full so I'm going to put the diaphragm in. On top of that I'm going to place the cap. Then on top of it I'm going to place the reservoir cap. Make sure it is reasonably tight before you press the brake lever to check 
the brakes because you don't want brake fluid to splatter all over the place so yeah that is done now let's start the bike and see if it runs so I'm borrowing some fuel from the RX100 to see if it starts So let's see if it starts. She a beauty. Look at the dog. Just simply amazing. So this is my first ever ride in an RXZ. Let's hope I don't get disappointed.
fix the brakes. exactly where we want it to stop with a dive which is kind of scary I just put this bike together surprisingly good from the junction it came till here fun but needs a bit of work. Now that the gear issue is solved, now we do not have to worry about the engine that much. next to the RX100 which as you can see is in parts Okay, that's a perfect idea. 
Ну. So that idles perfectly. So I'm proud of the bike. So hey guys, I'm really excited. The bike runs well. It shifts through gears. Um, I have ordered for the front forks. So I'm going to get the original RXZ forks. I have to put a crash guard. I also need the uh, uh, clamps for the uh, engine guard. Then we need to fix the clamp in the front because this is not good. This is actually a little loose, can be tightened. But then I have already bought the clamp which I misplaced somewhere. So I'm sure I'll get it in a day or two. Once I get it, then I'll install that. Um, the footrest needs to change because that is hitting the gear shifting. Uh, then we need to put the chain cover. That is next. It needs a wash. And unfortunately, the crows have attacked the seat. So the seat is torn at places, but that's okay. I can get a new cover put on this. That would just cost me about two, three hundred rupees. So I'm not really worried about that. Um, so once now the bike is all set, I have to now focus on the paperwork, get the bike transferred to Kerala. So the plan is to get a KL1 registration for this, which I'm sure I'll get. Um, so yeah, that is about the bike as of now. Uh, so we'll fix the footrest tomorrow. And I also need to get the forks done. Once I get the forks done, that time I'll also connect the speedometer because I have kept the cable somewhere. Um, so I need to look for that. So other than that, the bike actually runs pretty well. Um, I'm a little scared because um, I'm not sure what I tightened. So a couple of screws might be loose. So considering that, I'm taking it a little easy. Um, the rear shocks are sitting too high. So probably I'll change the top parts and I'll put the other, uh, the ones that I have from the uh, RX, I'll put those here. Um, the carburetor is beautifully tuned. Um, I cannot complain about that. Um, sounding awesome as well. Um, it is too silent. As of now, probably we'll cut the flute a bit and see if we can make it sound a little louder. Um, other than that, almost everything else is fixed. Um, we need to get the caliper also, so that is going to be stage two. Um, so yeah, awesome bike. I'm glad that I was able to complete it. Uh, so this bike is going to stay with me forever. I'm not going to uh, let this one go because I'm kind of in love with this bike now. Um, I have actually uh, done the, uh, tried fixing the RDD CDI on it. Uh, it was not running well. So for the time being, I removed it. So right now the bike is running on the stock um, RX135 five-speed CDI. So that will be taken care of. Secondly, the wiring needs to be fixed inside the headlight. Like I have to solder all the joints and I have to use the shrink wrap because that is going to kill my OCD otherwise. Um, I'm glad that I have a bike which I can use for daily commute because that used to be my daily and it's kind of like you can see broken as of now. I'm also trying to source um, the first oversize uh, rings. So if any of the um, viewers, subscribers know where I can source the first oversize rings for the RX100, um, please get in touch with me. Um, my Instagram details are in the homepage of this channel. 
so those will be used to fix the rx100 so yeah it was an amazing experience now all i have to do is just give it a nice wash because it's all greasy you can see the engine covers are very greasy so that needs to be cleaned well and then i'm going to put this under wraps for the time being um, so that is pretty much it um, for this video hope you enjoyed it uh, please like share and subscribe if you like more of the rxz videos are about to come and i have bought another rxz 4 speed uh, so that is going to reach us somewhere in march or april uh, because it is presently in kashmir and the weather doesn't allow uh, it to be shipped yet so once that bike arrives then we'll do an awesome build on that other than that uh, once the rx100 build is complete then we will do the rd350 build it is not going to be a major build because almost everything is here so i'll probably get the rims plated the silencer plated the uh, gear lever plated i'll get new mirrors for this um, maybe a new original rd350 rear mudguard um, I also already have a front mudguard um, RD350 mudguard so I'll use that in the front uh, so this is again going to be uh, next once the 100 build is complete so I have some great news on the 5 speed which as of now looks like this so today I had a discussion with a local um, mechanic who uh, promised me that uh, he will help me with the big bore build so I will get the cylinder done through him we are going to use the RX King connecting rod in that so that is probably going to be an awesome project in itself uh, I'll use the gladiator fork in that or maybe I'll get a duke uh, front setup as I already have a lot of stuff from uh, the pulsar lying around like I have the hub for the pulsar which is lying right here and I also bought a new uh, front brake hose so probably we'll do that next so yeah um, so next is going to be the RX100 like I said I'm, I'm very excited because I never thought that I would be able to complete the RXZ uh, because this uh, was one bike that I have not ridden in my life so this was my first ride in fact and the first ride for the engine as well because this engine was in that bike and uh, I could not ride it more than a couple of 100 meters um, after that was restored but now i have taken this almost two kilometers uh, so yeah more miles to come in this so i'm going to start posting more videos on the rxz so yeah thanks a lot for watching have a good night bye bye